be a part of this ranching operation is something ever since I was a little kid I wanted to do. I just wanted to be a cowboy all my life and uh, feel very fortunate that I was able to have that lifestyle and uh, that my family gave me the opportunity. I don't know what I'd have done if I couldn't, you know. It's just something I love and want to keep doing. Well, my great-grandfather, James Mickelson, worked for the Spur Cattle Company, which was an old, one of the old English Welch cattle companies that ran cattle from uh, Evanston, Wyoming to Cheyenne, Wyoming. It's kind of interesting when he first got here, came from Denmark and he actually uh, didn't even have a saddle. So he had to ride bareback until he <laughs> get enough money to get him a saddle. And then my grandmother is the one that uh, started getting into the Quarter Horse Association. She had him come out and they inspected him and registered him. And that was when the association started and we've been registering them ever since. Since my wife Tara and I have been breeding, you know, we've tried getting more current bloodlines. Uh, all these newer bloodlines are refining the older horses, you know. The older ones were real good ranch horses, not as, you know, your picture perfect type quarter horse look. But, you know, for what we were doing at the time, they were perfect. Uh, but we've refined those and they just look more like a show horse. But we don't want to lose track of our ranch horse heritage either, you know. We want the horses that will, you can go out and cover a lot of country and bang around through the rocks and badger holes and get your work done. Our horses were, are all fold and raised here in Big Piney, Wyoming. They're bred here, they're raised here, they're trained here. A day for a horse here on our place is ranch work. They're moving cattle, they're doctoring cattle. Before we get them to that stage, of course, we're training in the arena, trying to get them to where we can go out and get our job done with them. And horses that were specializing in showing or roping, you know, train on them in the arena. Uh, we also do quite a bit of ranch work on our rope horses and show horses because I feel it keeps a fresh attitude. You know, they don't get stale on a, on me, I don't think. You know, they're, they're more free and move free. And, we have 2,000 mother cows. The spring we calve them. Summer we turn them on the mountains. Fall we get them in, wean them, and process them. And winter we doctor them and feed them. And then the next spring we turn our yearlings out up in the mountains again and bring them in that fall and sell them. And uh, the cycle goes on. Well, I feel to win the Best Bermuda Award is probably as high honor as we could receive for what we're trying to accomplish with our horses. Our goal is to make very good ranch horses and uh, we also like to rope competitively on them. We like to show them in horse shows. It's just such an honor to receive this. We've been doing this all our life and and I'm glad for the future generations that you know it's happened because hopefully they will continue also which at this point it looks like they sure enough will. <laughs>